Inside the Tibetan Scripture Pavilion, many people had already entered at this time all of them were enthusiastically selecting exercises. However, many people scoffed at the exercises on the first floor and walked directly to the higher floors. In their opinion, the higher the floor, the better the storage exercises. But Su Changa went in the opposite direction, he looked at the people who were flocking to the second floor, raised a strange smile on his mouth, and then walked towards a bookshelf in front of him. The scruffy old man told him in the transmission that there are indeed good things on the high floors, but the best things are not on the high floors, but on the first floor. It was a mediocre cheat book. It seems so, but inside there is something else. And the hiding place is on the sixth grid on the seventh floor of the most conspicuous bookshelf on the first floor. As long as you enter the door, you can see it at first glance. If you want it, you don't need to bend over, you can reach for it. Suchanga understood that the most dangerous place was the safest place, so the sect master placed this technique under everyone's noses. It's a pity. He shook his head. It's a pity that those people are all fools. Thanks to my courtesy greetings when facing his honorable elder, I finally got lucky. He walked over to the bookshelf and looked down. I saw that this bookshelf has a total of ten floors, and the seventh layer is just on his chest, which can be seen at a glance, which is very conspicuous. There are a lot of cheats on the seventh floor, roughly counted, there are more than twenty books and the middle one is his goal. It was a gray secret book, lying quietly like that, without any breath coming. Out. It looks ordinary, ordinary. Su Chunga's wrist trembled slightly, looked left and right, and after making sure that there was no one around, he shot out sharply and held it in his hand. After starting, I suddenly felt extraordinary. Just a book. It weighs 100,000 pounds. It's also terrifying. It is also thanks to his soaring power now, otherwise I am afraid that he would not be able to take this book. He hurriedly opened it, and a simple and rich Tao rhyme suddenly came to his face. There's really something else inside. Looking down, the secret book is engraved with dense tadpole text, like a Swimming dragon, flickering with different lights, exuding profound and mysterious truths. Suddenly, Su Changa was ecstatic. And he also saw the name of this cheat book. On the cover outside this cheat book, it is just an ordinary book, water. Splitting fist. But the place where the number of pages is marked under the inner pages. Written, Tai Shan slashing Dao Holy Scripture. Ha 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 really picked up a big bargain this time. In order to prevent the knight from dreaming more, Su Changa didn't look much. Hurriedly took it into his arms, and then turned around and left. Unexpectedly, just after walking a few steps, before going out, a voice suddenly sounded behind him, stop. Su Changa paused sharply, and turned around. I saw that the man was very large, full of muscles, bald head, and a very fierce face. He recognized the man. This is also the disciple of that strange old man of Tiantai Peak, named Wang Jinglong, whose strength far exceeds Wang Shan, and is the existence of the seventh heaven of the metamorphosis realm. What's wrong? Su Changa asked tentatively. I suspect that your book of exercises is strange, bring it to me, and let me see it. Wang Xianlong is not a fool, he just picked out a secret book from the third floor and was ready to go back, but when he passed here, he suddenly heard Su Changa laughing. He immediately realized that Su Changa was very likely to have obtained a good thing. Since it's a good thing, it's out of his hands. Impossible. Why should I give it to you? Sue. Changa flatly refused. 
Wang Jinglong grinned and shouted, Don't give it, right? Then I snatched it. Hard. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. He flashed sharply and rushed towards Suchanga. Suchanga only felt a flash of wind in front of him, and a terrifying coercion had already enveloped him. And the momentum was huge, like thunder and electricity. The cultivation of the seven heavens of metamorphosis has fully erupted. Wang Xianlong is already a no-shot, as soon as he makes a move, he will be completely subdued. Su Changga is also not a vegetarian, take a deep breath, the blood-red true chi. In his body instantly surges and flows, and all meridians suddenly explode. Into a terrifying sound. Boom. Suddenly there was an explosion, a pure purple true chi rushed forward, like a shock wave, directly covering Wang Jinglong's face, his nose bridge instantly exploded, became thin, blood flowed on his face, and flew out in embarrassment. Su Chang's eyes froze. It wasn't his hand. Seeing that your cultivation is not easy, spare your life, get out. An old voice came from outside the door. Su Chang's eyelids jumped, and he understood that this was a scruffy old man's move. Pure purple, true chi. It seems that the senior's identity is extraordinary. Poof. Wang Jinglong's face changed tragically, and his brain was buzzing by this. True Chi, but fortunately, the other party did not intend to kill him, just a small punishment. Even so, it also burst the bridge of his nose, and he needed to swallow the precious heavenly material earth treasure to repair it. For a while, Wang Jianlong was shocked and angry, struggling to get up and walk out. He also faintly guessed that the scruffy old man at the door was not an ordinary person, but a strong man who was hidden deeply. When passing by Su Chang's side, he lowered his voice and warned sadly, There are people here to protect you, but somewhere else. Hee <laughs> hee, wait. Su Chang'e was not afraid of him, and broke off, good. I'm waiting. Joke, he has blood-red true chi, his strength is eight times that of cultivators of the same level, and his true cultivation is equivalent to the eightfold of metamorphosis. This cultivation is enough to hang the metamorphosis sevenfold. Wang Jinglong left. Su Chang'e didn't stay too long, and walked out with the Tai Xian slashing. Dao Holy Scripture. When passing by the scruffy old man, he saluted and said, Thank you seniors. For your help. The scruffy old man looked at him appreciatively, and said seriously, Cultivate well, don't slack. Saying that, he leaned over, took out a golden dagger from his body, and stuffed it into Su Chang's singer with lightning speed. The old man was heavy in killing and karma in the early years, so he couldn't kill people at will. This thing is a Xian-level spirit soldier, Qi Xiao. Blade, your cultivation is not as good as Wang Xianlong, if he troubles you. You will use this to fight with him. Su Chang'e's heart moved. Weapons are divided into general soldiers, spirit soldiers, divine soldiers, holy soldiers, and imperial soldiers. Each type is divided into four realms, Heaven Level, Earth Pole, Xian Level, and Yellow Level. The same as the pill, it is also the lowest yellow and the highest in the sky. And the Holy Soldiers and Imperial Soldiers, also collectively known as Dao. Soldiers, belong to the category of extreme weapons. The scruffy old man did not have a stronger weapon in his hands, but he was. Afraid that the treasure would cause trouble to Su Chang'e, so he gave a spirit soldier, which he felt was enough for Su Chang'e. Although Su Chang'e was not afraid of Wang Fonglong, he was not pretentious, and directly accepted the Qishao blade and said, Thank you, senior. No thanks, remember the words of the old man, practice well, and don't. Slack. 
Su Chunga nodded and said yes. Immediately, he left here in a teleportation array. It didn't take long for Su Chunga to return to the main peak, and then return. To Lihua Peak, non-stop. He wants to give this terrifying copy of the Tai Xian Slashing Dao Holy Book. To the beautiful master. The more terrifying things are, the more terrifying the system subsidy will. Come back. That's why he didn't keep it private. And this time he went to the hidden scripture pavilion, not only got this treasure, but also obtained a Xian level spirit weapon. Kill two birds with one stone, make a big profit. P.S. I see a lot of readers in the background who like to leave comments, and I can't wait to comment on every chapter. Coincidentally, I like such people. Welcome all big guys to comment. Enthusiastically. Soon, Su Chonga came to the gate of the small courtyard. Apprentice, are you here again? The door is hidden, come in. Yi Qingyao's soft voice came from inside. When Su Chonga approached the door, she had already sensed it. Yes, master. Su Chonga pushed the door and entered. Yi Qingyao was still tasting tea there, her beautiful eyes radiated a shao. Seeing him go and return, she lightly opened her silver teeth and asked. Apprentice, you came to me, is there something wrong? The disciple just went to the Tibetan scripture pavilion, and by chance, he got this exercise. Suchanga did not hide it, and said the matter of the scruffy old man. There is no need to hide it. After all, Yi Qingyao was not an outsider, he was good to him everywhere, and he was towards him everywhere, so he couldn't bear to hide it. What? You have such a big chance. Hearing his words, Yi Qingyao was taken aback, and her beautiful eyes widened and looked at him in disbelief. Let's not mention the scruffy old man, she has been to the Tibetan scripture. Pavilion I don't know how many times, and she has never cared about the bookshelf on the first floor. But he never thought that the bookshelf under his nose, in such a conspicuous place, there was such a terrifying exercise. Tai Xian, slashing Dao Holy Scripture. As far as she knew, this was a secret method that the sect did not pass on. And only someone that the sect master particularly appreciated would pass on. This technique to him. Under normal circumstances, it is never passed on to anyone. Not even the peak lord. This time, the apprentice picked up a big bargain. However, Su Chonga's next words actually shocked her heart and surprised her. Even more. Su Chonga handed the Tai Xian Dao Holy Scripture to her and said with a smile, Master, I am here for nothing else, I just want to give you this book of exercises, take it. Huh? Yi Qingyao's cherry mouth suddenly opened wide, and her white and crystal pretty face was full of disbelief. This? Such a terrifying exercise, the apprentice actually wants to give it to himself? Is this true? Unbelievable. It's like a dream. She couldn't believe her ears. You. You, why don't you keep it for yourself, but send me, shocked. Words came out of her mouth. Su Chonga smiled lightly, Master, you are good to me, I will definitely be. Good to you. A. Simple sentence, as if Cupid's arrow hit Yi Qingyao's heart, making her heart. Beat violently, and thump. Even his breathing began to rise rapidly. I'm good to him, and he will be good to me. Yi Qingyao kept murmuring in her heart, carefully understanding the meaning of this sentence. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. Thinking that he had just given himself a treasure not long ago, and now he was here again, could it be? He came really? Thinking of this, a crimson color suddenly appeared on her cheeks, like a Brilliant tulip blooming, delicate blooming, and purple and red. This, that, this. 
Ahem, since you give something to the master, then there is no gift for the master. Anyway, I took it. Yi Qingyao thought about it in her mind, and her heart was happy, and she stretched out her jade hand to take the Tai Xian slashing Dao Holy Scripture. Hmm. Su Chang'e nodded, and then asked, Master, do you know the name of the old timer at the door of the Tibetan Scripture Pavilion? And what is the identity? Just now, the scruffy old man didn't tell him what his name was or what his Identity was in the sect. So Suchanga was curious and had the urge to break the casserole and ask the end. However, he naturally would not ask the scruffy old man. You said him? Yi Qingyao's gaze suddenly became solemn and said, I don't know, I just remember that when I was very young, he was already drinking there and was very decadent. The sect master once told me in private that his surname was Su, but he didn't say his real name, so he only asked us peak masters to honor him as Su. Lao. As for identity, I don't know. Su Chang'e nodded. This answer was also expected by him, Su Lao's identity was so mysterious, it seemed that he must be a terrifying big figure in the sect, and it was likely to be a Taishan-level existence. By the way, Elder Su is good to you, you have to silently remember it in your heart, and no end to in the future. Yi Qingyao added at this time. Li Su Chang'e naturally knew, and nodded, and said, Disciples remember. Next, Yi Qingyao opened the Taishan slashing Dao Holy Scripture in her hand, looked at it for a moment, and an epiphany flashed in her eyes. She only felt that the words on the sacred texts were vast, like an endless deep sea, full of meaning, pure and majestic. But none of this is too difficult for her. In fact, Su Changa couldn't understand that book, and even if he practiced it himself, he couldn't start. So giving it away is the most correct choice. Soon, Yi Qingyao had fully comprehended the Tai Xian Dao Holy Scriptures, and the mysteries and meanings rolling in his mind were like big rivers and waves. Continuous and gushing. This is a technique for tempering the divine soul, which is divided into nine layers, and it is very mysterious and exquisite. Cultivation can temper the divine soul to the extreme and be immune to any spiritual attack. Many monks in this world not only use physical attacks, but also use spiritual Attacks. The most common mental attack is illusion, which can disturb people's five senses, make people insane, delirious, and thus defeated. This kind of attack is the most terrifying, invisible and untouchable, and unpreventable. But after cultivating the Tai Xian slashing Dao Holy Scripture, they were all immune. As the cultivation deepens, the aura on Yi Qingyao's body suddenly soared, and then there was a terrifying coercion, like a brilliant heavenly power falling, sweeping in all directions. Broke through. Everything is natural, without a trace of stagnation, very natural. Phew. Yi Qingyao exhaled a turbid breath slightly, her beautiful eyes looked at Su. Changa, revealing a colorful brilliance, and said softly, Apprentice, I want. To thank you for the teacher this time, say, what reward do you want? Reward? Su Changa really didn't expect that Master Venerable would give himself a reward this time. How unreasonable is that? Master, the apprentice does not pick what you give, the apprentice wants. He said with a faint smile. Yi Qingyao thought for a moment, took out a golden pill from his arms, and said with a smile, this is the Nirvana Divine Phoenix pill, with extremely strong resilience, as long as the seriously injured person still has a breath. Just take this thing, the injury will recover in one breath, and return to the peak state. Come, take. Su Changa stretched out his hand and took it, only to see that this thing was 
round, golden throughout, smelling fragrant and incomparably rich. In an instant, he was overjoyed. This is a healing elixir. With this thing, I can say that I have a chance to be resurrected. Just like a certain news game played in his previous life, he was wearing a resurrection armor. Immediately, he got up and retreated. Just returned to the residence, the system subsidy arrived on time. Ding. You gave away a copy of the Tai Xian slashing Dao Holy Scripture, and the tens of billions of subsidies took effect, triggering an excess critical attack. This excess critical attack multiplier, 365,000 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Tai Chu Extreme Dao Code. Tai Chu Ji Dao Code? Su Chonga's heartstrings moved. The most terrifying Dao soldier in the fantasy world is the Extreme Dao. Weapon, then this thing is named after Extreme Dao, it will definitely not. Be a good stubble. The system sound sounds. System tip, the secret method of an immortal king powerhouse from the ancient. Era can temper the flesh body and the divine soul at the same time, divided. Into eighteen layers, cultivated to the extreme, the flesh body is as strong as a rock, and the strength of the divine soul will also jump to the point of terror, immune to all spiritual attacks. Groove. Sure enough, it's not good stubble. Suchonga took a deep breath and was really shocked. Time division, Archean era, antiquity, middle ages, near antiquity, present. The Tai Xian slashing Dao Holy Scripture can only temper the divine soul, but the Tai Chu Extreme Dao Code can not only temper the divine soul, but also temper the physical body at the same time. Both can be tempered, which is terrifying. It can be imagined that when the body and soul are tempered by thousands of hammers, the whole person suddenly has no shortcomings. How terrifying should it be? Immediately, he closed the door, sat down cross-kneeled, and began to comprehend. The things subsidized back by the system are all parsed, and the text on it is easy to understand. Suchonga glanced at it and immediately integrated it, without any stagnation. Boom. Boom, boom. The sound of war drums came from his body, as if a holy hammer was tempering his flesh. And he also felt that in his soul, there was a sacred sledgehammer tempering his soul. The two are carried out at the same time, and with each tempering, the physical body and divine soul are strengthened by one point, steadily increasing. First floor. Second layer. Third layer. Tenth floor. Twelfth floor. Sixteenth floor. Eighteenth floor. Less than half an hour. Su Changa then cultivated the Tai Chu Extreme Dao Code to the top level. Boom. A vast and profound momentum swept out of his body, as deep as the ocean. Sweeping in all directions. There was a sound boom and crackling in the surrounding air. Read more novels for free on our website tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. Shouwei also broke through his limits in an instant, rubbing and skyrocketing. Boom. Breakthrough. Metamorphosis Realm Duo Heaven. Metamorphosis Realm Triple Heaven. Metamorphosis Realm Four Heavens. Metamorphosis Realm Five Heavens. Seven Heavens of the Metamorphosis Realm. Eight Heavens of the Metamorphosis Realm. Nine Heavens of the Metamorphosis Realm. Boom. Half-Step Golden Body. After the Metamorphosis Realm, it is the Golden Body Realm. Under the tempering of the Tai Chu Extreme Dao Code, Suchonga's cultivation. Sword, and he stepped into the Half-Step Golden Body in just a few moments. At this time, he found that his body surface produced a faint gold, like a golden body of the Buddha gate, shining with gold and shining. And as his cultivation improved, his physical strength was also skyrocketing. 
109,000 caddies, 200,000 caddies, 201,000 caddies, 300,000 caddies, 302,000 caddies. The improvement brought about by the tempering of the extreme Dow code was terrifying, and Su Changa felt that he was full of strength, the power in his body was surging, and his strength skyrocketed. I have to say, the feeling of having power is so cool. But soon, he calmed down and hid the cultivation of the golden body realm. Yes, I have to hold on. Only in this way can we catch the entire sect by surprise as a dark horse. The most important thing is that his promotion is too fast, if it attracts the attention of others, it will attract trouble. He still understands the truth of guilt. Immediately, he closed his eyes and continued to temper his physical body and soul. As his cultivation deepened, he found that this exercise book was extraordinary. Once it operated, it could urge physical strength to attack. And it could also urge sword techniques, palm techniques, and fist techniques. Various martial arts to attack. This is a book of golden oil exercises. If you use martial arts novels to explain, it is the inner strength heart. Method Su Chonga's eyes became brighter and brighter, and his heart was extremely happy. Just as Su Chonga was cultivating, Tian Tai Peak, Wang Jinglong came to a secret room indignantly. The secret room was dark and dark, and there was a roar, like a dragon, and Tiger. A burst of coercion swept through, and the terrifying aura caused the Qi wave to explode, which was extremely strong. Wang Jinglong stood in front of the door, saluted respectfully, and said, Big. Brother, I can't swallow this breath, please stand out for me. The person in the secret room is the eldest brother he recognizes. He is not a fool, knowing that after Su Changa goes back, he will definitely practice that exercise, and his strength needless to say, will definitely skyrocket, and he will naturally not be afraid of him at that time. Therefore, he must call the eldest brother out of the horse. Tell me more about it. A deep voice came from the secret room. Wang Jinglong quickly explained the whole thing. Boom! The secret room erupted with a terrifying explosion. The door was directly torn through by a strong true chi, and a tall and burly figure walked out. His name is Xiang Wei, he is a true golden body realm powerhouse, and his cultivation is nine times in the golden body realm. Right now, he twisted his neck and roared, if the practice wants, his life also wants, go. The other side. In the room. Suchanga cultivated deeply, and the bones, meridians, cells, and divine souls in his body were tempered one after another, becoming extremely tough. Like steel. The sound of thousands of troops galloping burst out from the body. Probably a few breaths later. He suppressed the voice and then looked at his own changes. Under the inner vision, I saw that the meridians had been tempered thousands of times, tough and straight, and became like bones. And that bone is even harder and harder, like a rock. As for the cells in the body, they become like iron pills, surging and flowing. In the body, meeting mountains and mountains, encountering altitudes and seas. Even the blood is tempered like red-hot iron juice, hard and indestructible. And extremely strong. Click. Suchanga squeezed his fist, and his fist suddenly erupted with a crisp explosion, like a firecracker being ignited, crackling. He walked out, found a mountain rock that was ten meters thick and five meters high, ran the Taichu Extreme Dao Code, and slammed it with a punch. Boom! Only listening to a deafening explosion, the tall and heavy mountain stone was directly penetrated by a punch and even the surrounding broken stone walls were bursting inches, without a moment, the entire stone exploded into powder. Is this my current power? It's really terrifying. 
Su Chonga's heart shook. In fact, he only used a point of strength in this punch, just to try the power. If you use all your strength, a full 32,000 caddies of strength bombards the big stone, and I don't know how terrifying it will be. But if it hits people, I'm afraid he will be scared to pee on the spot. People are not more fragile than stones, and human bodies are much more fragile than stones. The stones were all punched, let alone the man. Thinking about this, Su Changa was also estimating his true strength now. Bloodred True Chi can bring eight times a boost to strength, and when superimposed on 302,000 caddies of strength, cross border killing is simply like killing chickens and dogs. His current strength is enough to blast and kill a half step phase realm. Cultivator after the golden body realm, it is the law phase realm. With the cultivation of a half-step golden body, he encountered the half-step method, and it was directly a punch. Overbearing, not reasonable at all. Immediately, he cultivated his breath and prepared to go back to the house. However, as soon as he turned around, he suddenly noticed that there was darkness in front of him, and a bald head rushed over. The bald head was angry and pointed at Su Chonga's nose and shouted, Big. Brother, it's him. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. Su Chonga fixed his eyes, only to find that this person was Wang Xianlong, who had just separated. And behind him was a burly strong man, also bald, full of flesh, with a green dragon tattooed on the right half of his face, and the dragon's eye position happened to be his eyes, and he was staring at himself viciously at the moment, sneering. It was Xiang Wei. Boy, hand over that exercise, I can show mercy, and leave you a whole corpse. Xiang Wei glanced at Su Changa coldly, and said viciously. He couldn't sense any cultivation from Su Changa. Such a weak chicken, he prides himself on not even using a fist, and he can beat him to burst with only one finger. Wang Xianlong also smiled viciously on the side, Su Changa, hand over that. Technique when you know each other, I kindly advise you, don't toast or eat. And punish wine. Su Changa didn't even raise his eyelids, and said unhurriedly, what if I don't give it? Click. Xiang Wei clenched his fist, made a crisp bone crisp sound, did not speak. Slammed his fist, and smashed towards a large rock next to him. Boom! That stone was more than half a person tall, and more than three meters thick. And it suddenly collapsed under this punch, as if it was made of mud, and it was directly blown up into slag. My Xiang Wei has never said much, if you don't give it, then the end will be. Like this stone. Vicious words came out of Xiang Wei's mouth. On the side, Wang Jinglong straightened his chest high, quite angry, and laughed maniacally, See no, my eldest brother is as strong as a sword, you'd better hand over things obediently, and save your fists and feet. He was actually afraid that Su Changa would hide that technique elsewhere. Otherwise, if he killed Su Changa rashly, his efforts would be in vain. Su Changa did not smile angrily. I have to laugh, these two people are more arrogant than the other, they have. Just broken through, their strength has skyrocketed, and these two people. Can't wait to send them to the door. What a thousand miles to give away people's heads. If so, then one word, kill. When the killing is over, then routine body search. At this moment, he looked at Wang Xianlong and Xiang Wei, as if looking at two walking treasure houses. With the cultivation of Wang Jinglong and Xiang Wei, there must be more things on his body than Wang Shan, and he took it. What are you laughing at, looking for death? Seeing that Su Changa was not afraid, Xiang Wei also laughed, and suddenly became furious, stepped forward sharply, and forced Su Changa into a corner. 
There were two walls behind Su Chongga standing, just forming a corner, and Xiang Wei blocked him in this corner. It seems that you are toasting and not eating and punishing wine. Wang Jinglong also came over, joined hands with Xiang Wei, and blocked Su. Changa in the corner. Being squeezed like this, Su Changa smiled again and said coldly, Good. Since you are looking for death, then I will fulfill you. Unexpectedly, Xiang Wei listened, and also laughed fiercely, and said in a deep voice, What are you killing us with? Less nonsense, eat me with a punch. Boom. The breath on his body skyrocketed, like a dragon and tiger, his bones, and joints exploded, and a punch slammed in, and his momentum was like a wave. He wanted to subdue Su Changa with one punch, and then slowly torture. Wang Jinglong laughed and shouted madly, Ha 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 ha, my eldest brother is angry, it's too late for you to regret it now. I'll regret it? Joke. Facing this punch, Su Changa did not blink, took a deep breath, and ran the Taichu Extreme Dao Code. The blood-red true chi in the body also operated, and the various meridians suddenly erupted with the sound of a raging wave, and the bone fascia crackled. A terrifying momentum suddenly burst out. Boom! The ground could not withstand this momentum, and it exploded directly. Billowing smoke. What? Wang Jinglong was shocked. Xiang Wei's face also changed, and his heart was awe-inspiring. Su Changga didn't say much, and in the face of Xiang Wei's punch, he also greeted him with a punch. In the blink of an eye, the two fists slammed together. Bang! There was an explosion in the air, sweeping out endless winds and waves. Hunting and hunting, and fierce winds. Ugh! Wang Jinglong only heard a scream of extreme pain, and immediately noticed that there was darkness in front of him, and a figure flew out in embarrassment. It was Xiang Wei, who flew out upside down. His burly body seemed to be a sapling that could not help the wind, and it was directly bombarded, and while flying, he vomited blood in a big mouth. Wang Jinglong was stunned. The shocked face was full of disbelief, what was the situation, the eldest brother was actually punched by Su Changa? He looked at Xiang Wei and saw that Xiang Wei was extremely miserable, his fist and his entire arm were exploded, revealing the gloomy white bones of his shoulder, and the blood was drenched, so miserable. One punch. With just one punch, Su Changa burst Xiang Wei's entire arm. Xiang Wei's face suddenly changed, extremely white, bloodless, as if he had experienced the most incredible thing in the world, his mouth was huge. Unbelievable. This Su Changa, how can it be so strong? Stop. This concludes today's business, farewell. With a bang, Xiang Wei lifted his foot and left, without turning his head. Come when you want, go if you want? Which is so easy. Su Changa snorted coldly and rushed after him. His body exploded, his strength came out, his whole body shook, the hundred bones shook, and the blood-red true chi rumbled with blood all over his body. And he slammed into Xiang Wei's back heart with a punch. Xiang Wei was horrified, quickly turned around, gritted his teeth, took out a thick iron shield, and resisted in front of him. Click. Click. The iron shield burst out with an astonishing explosion, and it was penetrated. By this punch, shattered every inch, and exploded into pieces. Xiang Wei's face changed suddenly, and he hurriedly begged for mercy, no. Junior brother Su, stop, I shouldn't have today. Read more novels for free on our website tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. Boom. Su Changa showed no mercy, his fist pierced the iron shield, smashed the yellow dragon all the way, and bombarded Xiang Wei's chest fiercely. 
Bang. Bang. Xiang Wei's chest collapsed downward, his ribs were broken, broken stubble. Splashed, blood flowed everywhere, and then with a bang, his chest exploded. Directly, his organs flew around, and a big hole was opened in his chest. I. Xiang Wei's face turned pale, he only let out a scream, turned his head to. Look at Wang Jinglong, with all his strength, and then the body plopped to the ground without a sound. His eyes were still open, staring at Wang Jinglong, deadly, not blind. If it weren't for Wang Jinglong, he wouldn't have encountered hard stubble. Today, and the corpse was here. I, 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 Wang, was shocked by the dragon, frightened by the six gods and masters, and his heart was terrified. The eldest brother with a golden body was actually blasted open in the chest. By Su Chunga's punch, is this so terrifying? Su Chunga glanced at him coldly and said, Wang Jinglong, you just said that. I will regret it? No, 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 I said nonsense just now, don't go to your heart. Wang Jinglong's intestines are now repentant, looking at Su Chunga's eyes. Carefully, as if looking at a bloodthirsty beast. Get on your knees and apologize for kowtowing to me. Su Changa pointed to the ground. Bang bang bang. Wang Jinglong did not hesitate, and immediately knelt on the ground and slammed his head fiercely. Soon, blood came out of his brain, but he kept knocking and did not dare to stop. It took hundreds of them before he dared to raise his head and trembled, Sue. Brother Sue, can you spare me? Xiang. Wei's tragic situation was right in front of him, he only felt his scalp numb. But he didn't want to follow in his footsteps. Hand over everything on your body. Su Changda said coldly. Yes, big brother. Wang Jinglong's hands and feet trembled, groped his body for a while, took out a storage bag, and handed it over. The storage bag is purple and looks bulging from the outside. Su Chongda glanced at it and knew that there must be a lot of things inside. Su. Brother Su, the things have already been given to you, can you exchange? My life? Wang Fonglong said in a trembling voice. Su Chongda smiled coldly, I'm sorry, no. Boom. He shot straight away. A punch blasted, a direct headshot. Ugh. Wang Jinglong's head instantly blossomed, and blood mixed with bone. Stubble splashed everywhere. Humph. Su Changa snorted coldly, added another punch, and directly exploded Wang. Jinglong's body, exploding into a cloud of blood mist. Then, he walked to Xiang Wei and began to search his body. Xiang Wei, as a golden realm, must have a lot of treasures on his body. In fact, just now, Su Changa first asked Wang Xianlong for something, in order to prevent a punch from blowing him up, and the things on his body also exploded. Then you will be busy yourself. When you get the benefits, it's not too late to punch him again. And killing Xiang Wei is the same. At the moment of the shot, Su Changa concentrated all his strength on Xiang Wei's chest. The rolling force converged a little and directly burst Xiang Wei's chest. But it didn't hurt the storage bag around his waist. This is also caused by his current control of power to the point of perfection and ease. Immediately, Su Changa lowered his body and groped back and forth on Xiang Wei. Xiang Wei's chest was shattered, and blood gushed out, staining his clothes. Red and the storage bag around his waist. Su Changa turned the storage bag out. Then he clenched his fists and made up for Xiang Wei's punch. This time there was no concentration of forces, but a full-scale outbreak. The strength of 302,000 caddies, superimposed on the eightfold increase of Blood Red True Qi directly made Xiang Wei's body bang, like Wang Jialong. It exploded inch by inch and exploded into a blood mist. Not even the ashes remained. 
Immediately, Su Changa went to Ching Tan to take a bath and changed into new clothes. He killed two people in a row, and his body, fists, and robe were already stained with blood and had to be cleaned. Do things without leaving a trace, and be sharp. With all this done, he went back to the house and began to check the two storage bags. Su Changa took the lead in unsealing Xiang Wei's storage bag. What catches your eye is a space of tens of square meters, about the size of two rooms. There were seven or eight cheats inside, and he glanced at it and saw that it was shaking mountain fist, you dragon fist, and another one was Kunwu. Fist. Most of the other books are boxing, and only one is a knife technique. In addition, there are seven or eight weapons, including spears and large knives, all of which are some high-grade soldiers, and the quality is a big grade lower than that sent by the scruffy old man. Huh, spirit stone? Suddenly, he let out a laugh. I saw that at the bottom of the storage bag, there was also a large pile of sparkling spirit stones. There were more than 3,000 pieces of divine consciousness, all of which were top-grade spirit stones. Don't underestimate these more than 3,000 spirit stones, you can buy a lot of things, and each spirit stone is hard to get. Spirit stone grade, lower grade, middle grade, upper grade, best grade. Only a hundred medium grade spirit stones can be exchanged for one upper grade. Spirit stone. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. And a hundred top grade spirit stones can be exchanged for one top grade. Spirit stone. These 3,200 top-grade spirit stones are all Xiang Wei's hard-earned family base, and now they are all cheaper than Su Changa. Immediately, he began to check Wang Jinglong's storage bag. Wang Xianlong was not as rich as Xiang Wei, and the storage bag was sparse. Only more than 900 lower-grade spirit stones, and a few other elixirs. And weapons. Mosquito legs are also meat. Su Changa laughed lightly, and his attitude was very good. Next, he planned to give all these things to the beautiful master. It's just that. Just as he was about to go out, he suddenly thought of something and changed his mind. With the eyes of the master, you may not necessarily look at these boxing techniques, right? You won't necessarily fancy these soldiers, will you? The beautiful master is the lord of a peak, although these things can be given away, but don't you feel cold? Only by giving her treasures will there be light on her face. But this naturally couldn't stop Su Changa, his mind turned, and he soon had a new plan. Just like this, go down the mountain and sell all these things, exchange them for a large amount of spirit stones, and give them to her. In this way, the system subsidizes more spirit stones back. Su Changa smiled as he spoke. Send money, and then the system overshoots to subsidize more money, and he is simply a business wizard. The most important thing is that you can also experience the pleasure of smashing a woman's face with a large amount of money at once. Wait for the spirit stones that come back with subsidies, directly absorb them, and cultivate them to rise up. This wave just. Cool. After making up his mind, he was ready to descend. Wait a minute, I can't use this chi shao blade at all, and it's also a matter. Of eating ashes, if you leave on your body, it's better to go to the master. Before leaving, and give this thing to her. Su Changa suddenly remembered the spirit soldier given by the scruffy old. Man. He took it out, opened the scabbard, and exposed a dagger with a sharp cold. Light to the air. The chill is chilling. Xian level spirit soldiers are extremely sharp, cutting stones like cutting. Watermelons, which is a treasure. But I can't use it at all, so it's better to use it to brush stronger spirit. Soldiers. Ah. 
what brushing spirit soldiers, it is clearly a filial piety. Immediately, he pushed the door out and walked towards Yi Qingyao's residence. P.S. Thank you, fish-loving, Xiaotang, for the reward. Thank you. Along a mountain road, it didn't take long for Su Changa to come to Yi. Qingyao's door again. Counting the times, this is the third time it has come, and today is really frequent enough. Shaking his head, he drove away the distractions in his heart, knocked on the door, and said, Master, are you there? Yes, the door is not closed, come in. Yi Qingyao's soft voice came from inside. Su Changa actually guessed that the door should not be locked, but in the face of the beautiful master, he must maintain the image of a humble gentleman. Don't think about it anymore. He pushed open the door and stepped in. Yi Qingyao was no longer tasting tea, and was by the pool, taking some bait and scattering it into the water. There are several goldfish fluttering happily in the water, grabbing the bait. Apprentice, what's wrong? Yi Qingyao turned around, and her crystal beautiful eyes looked at him. Suspiciously. She didn't understand a little, what happened to her apprentice today, why did? He come so often? Forget it, it's already three times. What's wrong? Su Changa smiled lightly and said, Master, I forgot to say it before, Elder. Su from the Hidden Scripture Pavilion gave me a Xian level spirit weapon, which is very sharp, and I want to give it to you. Saying that, he took out the dagger and handed it to Yi Qingyao. Yi Qingyao patted her white forehead and suddenly realized. The third time. The third time I came to give myself something. If he didn't come to be real, I'm afraid no one would believe it, right? No wonder he came so often today, it turned out to be hinting at himself. Apprentice, you can use the spirit soldier as a self-defense, why send me? Yi. Qingyao felt that she should be sure, so soft words came out of her mouth. Su Changa didn't think so much, and smiled without thinking, there are not. So many wise. I just think that Master Venerable you are very beautiful, so I want to give you a gift. Gift. Yi Qingyao murmured in her heart, give me a gift. Her eyebrows relaxed, and ripples rippled in her heart. The apprentice gave me gifts five times, and praised me, for being beautiful. And he must have liked me, so he should be hinting at me, right? After all, how can you take your own things, and give them away? And there are so many people in the sect, he doesn't send anyone, but only me. This must be. Many thoughts flashed through her mind, and her pretty face gradually changed. Turning red inch by inch, and pink filled her cheeks, like a shy flower. Blooming. The heartbeat also gradually accelerated, the heart was nervous, and the breath was short. And here, Su Changa saw that her face gradually turned red, and she was suddenly a little confused. Why did Master Venerable's face suddenly turn red? Could it be that something shy happened? Hey, it's because of myself. He reacted suddenly. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. I came over again and again today, and I sent this and that, as long as it is a treasure, I will send them all, did I let the master misunderstand? Something? God, my filial piety has deteriorated. The master's heart for the apprentice has also deteriorated. This is. While thinking, he suddenly saw Yi Qingyao's pretty face as crimson as a. Spring peach blossom, elegant and gorgeous, lightly opening his teeth, and said softly, Apprentice, I know your thoughts, then I will accept it. The heart. Thinking? Accept? Su Changa understood. Both herself and her heart deteriorated. Yi Qingyao took this Xian level spirit soldier, and then smiled like a flower. Looked at him a little shyly opened and closed his red lips, and whispered. 
Apprentice, since you have ideas about me, it's better to. Why should I marry? You? She said it in a joking tone. I also constantly remind myself in my heart that I must be reserved, I must be. Reserved. But I can't hold back. So handsome, no one can stand it. When Su Changa heard her words, his eyes were slightly surprised, but he quickly returned to normal and said, yes. He is not a hypocritical person, the beauty has been sent to the door, if he refuses, then he is still not a man? As he spoke, he stretched out his arm and took Yi Qingyao into his arms. Ugh! Yi Qingyao let out a sharp cry, and her body trembled. The first time she was touched by a man, she had no master, and her brain was blank. My heart is beating faster. Also completely sure in my heart, he really came for real. This follower apprentice, her cheeks turned red to the root of her ears. In an instant, and the six gods shouted in a panic, this effect is not good. Broad daylight, wait first, later. Su Changa hugged her tighter, lowered her head and smiled, what are you? Afraid of, Lu Wafeng has no one else, no one can see it. Uh, Yi Qingyao didn't know what to say. She only knew that what Su Changa said was indeed the truth. Lu Wafeng is just her, and Su Changa, and no one else. So you can still be afraid that others will see it? She lowered her head and stopped talking. But he stretched out his jade hand and hugged Su Changa's waist. It took a long time for the two to separate. Master, I want to go down the mountain, it will be half a day, more than a day, and I will be back soon. Su Changa naturally knew the right thing. However, it did not say exactly what to do down the mountain. He wants to come back and give the beautiful master a big surprise. Well, stay safe, I'll wait for you to come back. Yi Qingyao said softly. Her door had always been hidden. Cover up for Su Changa. Yamashita. It had just rained lightly, and the mountains were rainy. A figure dressed in white walked on the road. He was full of spirit and radiant. Steady and heroic. It was Su Changa. There is a beautiful flower at home waiting for me to go back, and this feeling is comfortable. He was in a good mood and full of energy. I have to say that there is a beautiful person who is always waiting for you to go back at home, and this kind of down-to-earth feeling cannot be bought by much money. At this moment, in my mind, the system subsidy arrived. Ding! You sent a Xian-level spirit soldier, Qi Xiao Blade, and tens of billions of subsidies took effect, triggering an excess critical attack. This excess critical attack multiplier 362,000 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Heaven Level Spirit Soldier. Dragon Slaying Knife. What? Su Changa's heart was shocked. It turned out to be a Dragon Slaying Knife. Martial Arts Supreme, Sword Slaying Dragon. He remembered the familiar BGM. This knife, he knows. In my previous life, I didn't see the sky slaying dragon written by a certain master level writer, so I was naturally extremely familiar with this knife. However, it seems a little wrong. This is the fantasy world, what is the use of the knife you give to a martial arts world? Isn't this a blow to the reverse dimensionality reduction by others? Suddenly, the system sound sounded. System prompt. Dragon slaying knife, a leftover weapon of an immortal king. Powerhouse in ancient times, extremely powerful, cut out with a knife. Indestructible, can go up the mountain to catch dragons, can enter the sea to kill whales. Oh. Got it. It turned out to be the weapon of an immortal king level powerhouse. Su Changa raised his eyebrows, overjoyed. How terrifying the immortal king-level powerhouse is, naturally there is no need to say more. 
he immediately opens the system space. I saw that in that chaotic space, a huge thick blade was inserted straight. There. The knife is more than ten meters long, the blade is very wide, very large. And very thick, and the lines are hard and straight, like a large guillotine. The back of the knife is pure black, pitch black as ink, and it looks as wide. As a palm when viewed sideways, thick and thick, exuding a domineering aura. The blade, on the other hand, is snow white, reflecting a human face, and the sharp point is very thin, almost like a leaf. The dragon slayer knife has no scabbard. Because it was too big, too heavy, and no scabbard could fit it. At the hilt of its knife, there was also a thick iron chain wrapped around it. Which was the thickness of an arm, exuding a strong fighting intent. Su Changa just looked at it from a distance, and he felt a domineering and hard breath rushing to his face, extremely strong and deep. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. He stepped forward and held the handle of the knife with both hands, only to find that he couldn't lift it. With a sweep of divine sense, it turned out to weigh a million pounds. Su Changa was shocked. His current strength is only 302,000 caddies, and this knife actually exceeds his strength by nearly three times. If you want to pick it up, you must urge the blood red Truchi to lift it. Drink. He gulped loudly, gritted his teeth, and urged the blood red Truchi. Thick true chi flowed in his body, rushing out, running thin in his limbs. Providing him with strong strength. Buzz. The dragon slaying knife trembled, and it was shaken by him by an inch. Moved forward a little. So heavy, so heavy. It's worthy of being a heaven-level spirit soldier. Su Chunga's forehead sweated, but it was a big joy. This knife, for the first time, made him use all his strength, and there was a hearty feeling. It's hard to imagine how terrifying it will be if you take a dragon slaying knife to kill people. Boom. He ran the Taichu Extreme Dao Codex, and the strength in his body was exhausted, his bones and joints clicked, and his meridians were swollen. Thick green tendons stand out from the surface of the body, the strength swells, and then go and get this knife. Finally, the dragon-slaying knife was raised by him and raised high above his head. Pick it up. At this moment, Su Chonga's heart suddenly gave birth to a pleasure of conquering it. After playing with it for a while, he put the dragon-slaying knife down and then exited the system space. After all, this thing is too big, it is good to store it in the system space. And take it out when you need to use it. Next, he took out a sword and flew the sword. The direction is south. He planned to go to Dunhuang City, a prosperous capital city, with an extremely large area, and people from all walks of life in the city, rich and prosperous. There are also many large bazaars, which are a good place to sell things. An hour later, Su Changa came to the sky above a black pine forest. This is a must-stop to Dunhuang City. He didn't care. However, when passing here, he suddenly raised his eyebrows and sensed an unusual aura below. That aura burst out, and the anger was very heavy, like a person of the demon. Dao filled with a murderous evil aura. There is also a breath. It was the breath of a righteous monk, but from the perception, it seemed extremely weak, as if it was oppressed. Su Changa quickly figured it out. There is a demon cultivator below, who is mutilating the righteous path monks. Suddenly, it seemed to sense that someone was passing by, and an urgent cry for help came from the black pine forest. Help. Save the little girl. Who can save me? Hearing the cry for help, Su Changa's eyes froze. He is not the virgin. 
but righteousness and evil are not mutually exclusive, and it is not impossible to do evil and promote good once. A bold feeling suddenly rose in his heart, Lu saw that he roared, and he shot. When it was time to strike. Phew! He wielded his long sword and flew towards the black pine forest. At this time, deep in the black pine forest, the daylight is obscured, the surrounding darkness is dull, and a magic aura is shrouded, as if dark clouds are overwhelming, making people's hearts palpitate. A beautiful woman in her thirties fell to the ground, a few traces of blood spilling from the corners of her mouth. She is quite graceful, wearing a purple Chong Sam, and her bumpy figure looms. It's just that this Chong Sam has now been torn off a large piece. Call it, even if you call the sky, no one will save you. Today, I'm going to fix you. A young man dressed in black armor and a black and white grimace-faced mask smiled wickedly and approached her inch. The coercion on his body is too thick, the demonic power is raging, and every step he takes is like darkness expelling light and the heart-rending screams of ghosts come from the darkness, which makes people's spines chill. This person, half-step phase. The body was only overflowing with coercion, just like a mountain volley, and the crushed beautiful woman turned pale and looked desperate. She grasped the last life-saving straw, hoping to awaken the last trace of conscience of the young man, and said, Little brother, you should be in your early twenties, I am more than ten years older than you, and I have a family. You, speaking of the family. The beautiful woman paused, and her eyes showed regret. In the open space not far from her, a carriage was parked. The carriage had long been shattered and split in half from the middle, and a middle-aged man in his thirties fell in the half-cut carriage. He was cut off and blood flowed. Older than me? The young man wearing the ghostly mask laughed viciously and said, Little Master, I will take this bite. There was an evil light in his eyes, and he carefully swept over the beautiful woman, not sparing an inch of it, and exclaimed in his mouth, Okay. All. Right. As he spoke, he approached the beautiful woman step by step, and the evil light in his eyes became more and more hot. The beautiful woman was completely desperate. The family is unfortunate, she traveled with her husband today, but when she came to this black pine forest, she encountered the magic road, her husband was killed, her money was robbed, and she was about to be defiled. This black pine forest is called every day should not be, and the earth is not working. It is conceivable that what awaits her will be an atrocity. Boom. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning streaked through the void, accompanied by the light of justice, a strong coercion emerged, rolling up thousands of layers of wind and waves, like mountains and seas, wind and clouds. What man? Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. The ghost-faced mask youth's pupils shrank but he didn't expect that someone would dare to disturb his good deeds. But the next moment, after seeing the person coming, his eyes suddenly flashed with a trace of disdain, and he sneered, that's it? In his perception, Suchanga was just a half-step golden body cultivation. And what about him? But half-step phase. That's it, too, to do justice? Could it be that you are tired of living and want to find death? The beautiful woman also saw Suchanga, she only felt that the white light flashed in front of her eyes, and a young man in white fell from the sky, as if bringing dawn to the darkness, and the light of justice was shining and diverging. Just when she noticed Suchanga's cultivation, the light in her eyes suddenly dimmed. Half-step golden body. Too low. Not only can you not save yourself, but you may also take your life. 
Alas! The beautiful woman let out a long sigh. When Su Chonga heard her sigh, he understood what was going on, but he didn't. Explain, glanced at the ghostly young man lightly, and said to himself, I haven't killed the demon Dao yet, and it's not bad to kill a practitioner. Occasionally. Practice your hands? The sound was not loud, but it fell into the ears of the ghostly young man. But it shocked him. What does this product say? Actually practice with yourself. Ha ha ha, he is a big realm higher than him, he actually wants to practice with. Himself? What's the mood here? The heart is higher than the sky. Someone as loud as you, little master, I still see it for the first time, go. And die. The demon Dao had always opened the killing ring, without saying a word, and a blood-colored spear appeared in the ghostly young man's hand, and the sharp blade of the spear was still stained with blood, as if he had just killed someone. At the moment, he waved his arm, the thick blue true chi erupted, the spear suddenly became sharper, the tip of the spear burst out of Mars, and the murderous intent boiled. Boom! A sonic boom burst out from the air, and the spear slashed through, stabbing towards Suchanga's chest. The beautiful woman's face turned paler than just now, looked at Suchanga, and loudly persuaded, Little brother, this is none of your business, even my husband is not his opponent, you don't want to be capable, go quickly, go. Quickly. The ghost-faced youth let out a sneer, can he walk away? Since he is so nosy, then give his life here. Boom. The spear streaked like lightning, pierced through the air, and there was a sound of booming, like beating a war drum, and the thunder was as deafening as thunder. I'm not leaving. Seeing the spear stabbed, Suchanga smiled coldly, drank loudly, and the blood-red true chi in his body suddenly erupted, like a huge wave, flowing in his arm and wrist, and then exploded. The dragon-slaying knife appeared in the hand. The huge blade that was ten meters long burst out, with a domineering aura. He took a deep breath, ran the Taichu Extreme Dao Code, the huge force in his body flowed, thirty-two thousand caddies of strength came out, superimposed on the increase of blood-red true chi, and cut out a knife. One knife, to cut out. Like thunder on the ground, the wind rises out of thin air, the ground shakes. The trees sway, and the surging murderous opportunity gushes out like an angry wave. One cut. Just a knife. Click. The blood-colored spear that pierced like lightning directly exploded. Crackling, and a face exploded into powder, vulnerable to a single blow. The ghostly young man's face changed and his heart was shocked. How could this righteous person be so strong that he actually slashed his spear with one sword? The beautiful woman also opened her mouth wide, shocked to the extreme, unable to speak. How can people believe that the young man of the demon Dao, who was like killing gods in her eyes, was defeated by a man in white across a great realm and made one move? I'm in charge of this business, can you help me? Su Chonga laughed heroically. Seeing the road uneven, pull out the knife, to help. It's also a big heroic addiction. He raised the dragon slaying knife violently, and the power flowed, and the blood-red true chi emitted a surging sound in the meridians, and he slashed out. Again. Boom. Boom. A piercing knife light, almost dazzling to the extreme, burst out from the dragon-slaying knife, and the surrounding demonic energy was directly split. As if the clouds were in the sky. This knife is powerful, the light of the knife is like a python, rolling past. Emitting a thunderous sonic boom, as if thousands of troops are galloping. This. The ghost-faced youth was shocked, and his face turned as white as paper. He sensed a threat from this knife, which was beyond his power, extremely terrifying. 
let him truly perceive the breath of death, like the god of death approaching. The strong domineering aura seems to behead him. The beautiful woman was completely shocked and watched in awe, the piercing. Knife light cutting through the sky, her mouth trembling, and she was dumbfounded. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. Drink. The ghost-faced youth suddenly shouted, the power in his body rushed, his meridian swelled, and a strong demonic aura burst out, trying his best, to urge a formation and throwing it forward. Tianyuan Demon Imperial Array. Boom. There was a fierce demon light flashing, in front of him, a thick black array. Rising from the ground, like a magnificent great wall, majestic pass, and a hundred feet high, blocking in front of him. The ghost-faced youth knew that if he took this knife hard, he would not die. Or be crippled. He doesn't want to explain here. You must use it to buy time to escape. After throwing out the big array, he sneered and retreated backwards. This Tianyuan demon imperial array, but he spent a lot of money to buy it from. A formation master, and its defense was extremely strong. He couldn't stop Suchanga if he didn't believe it. Boom. Boom. Saying that it was too late, Suchanga's knife pierced through layers of air and slashed fiercely on the demon imperial array. I only listened to the deafening sound of the boom and the large burst of sparks splashed in an instant, emitting a crackling and shattering sound. Overwhelmed, and a trace of crack appeared. The crack itself has only a hint. But in an instant, it was magnified. Boom. Mars splashed, the large array was completely overwhelmed, the cracks were. Enlarged inch by inch, the large array was cut out of a large hole from top to bottom, and the hundred Zhanghai majestic pass directly collapsed, and was split abruptly, and turned into two halves. And this knife did not disappear and continued to slash forward. Not good. The ghost-faced young man was shocked in his heart, his face was rushed, and he became as white as paper. Can't even the imperial demon array stop him? The beautiful woman was even more dumbfounded on the side. The mouth is so wide open that it can almost stuff an egg. Oh my god, how much force should this knife have? In the blink of an eye, the dragon-slaying knife slashed, the domineering. Blade split the long sky, the hurricane was stirring, and the rolling killing. Machine swept by like a wave, invisibly exuding terrifying coercion, which made people frightened. The ghost-faced youth watched this scene, knowing that he had touched the iron. Played today, and did not dare to fight hard, so he pulled out his legs, and left. Want to go? Did you leave? Su Chunga's original words are returned.